Good morning, welcome to Ebony and Ivory Motors in Scunthorpe. My name is Byron and I'm here to show you this 2013 13 plate Audi A4 2 litre TDI S line black edition finished off in the Pearl Effect Phantom Black. First things first, I'm going to do a quick walk around of the vehicle. Then when we get back round to the start, I'll show you the car once again, but in greater detail. These videos are brutally honest as we use them to prep from in our Volkswagen Audi Specialist Workshop. And we'll give you a very clear picture of the true condition of the car and what we're prepared to do to them prior to sale. Now we're getting back round to the start, I'm going to zoom back in and we're going to look over the car panel by panel. So the near side front wing looks in good condition, near side front door looks nice, near side rear door looks good and the near side rear quarter looks in good condition as well. Near side front alloy, good condition alloy but the outer edge has been curbed so the outer edge will be refinished prior to sale. Near side front tyre is a high end Bridgestone with a good 4 or 5 mil of tread remaining. Moving down the near side now to the near side rear alloy, same again, a nice condition alloy, but the outer edge has been curbed, so the outer edge will be refinished prior to sale. And we've got another high-end Bridgestone with approximately four or five mil of tread remaining. Looking back down the near side now, from rear to front, near side rear quarters in good condition. Both near side doors look good, and the near side front wing looks good. Moving around the rear of the vehicle now, so we're gonna check out the rear bumper and lower plastics to start with. The rear bumper has got some light superficial markings just down this bottom corner and we've got some stress markings along the loading area and a couple of other marks so the rear bumper on this will be professionally refinished at one of our body shops prior to sale and this lower trim will be refitted correctly as well so all that will be done prior to the new owner collecting it tail lights and tailgate look in good condition rear screen looks good with a factory privacy glass that wraps around the rear of the car and along the roof linings in good condition as well looking down the off side of the car now from rear to front Offside rear quarter looks in good condition. We've got one tiny little mark just above the light there to be polished up and touched in with a genuine Audi touch up paint prior to sale. Both offside doors look in good condition and the offside front wing looks good as well. Offside rear alloy, good condition alloy, but again the outer edge has been curbed, so the outer edge will be refinished prior to sale. We've got another high end Bridgestone with a good four or five mil of tread remaining. Moving down the offside now, this is the side that's in the sun, so you'll get to see the pearl effect in the paint a bit better. Offside front alloy is in good condition with the outer edge has been curbed so the outer edge will be refinished so we'll have four freshly uh, refurbished alloys prior to sale and we've got a Pirelli on this corner so a high-end Pirelli with approximately four mil of tread remaining. Looking back down the offside now from front to rear, offside front wing is in good condition we've just got one slight dent here that will be professionally refinished along with the markings to be polished up and touched in prior to sale. Uh, offside front door looks good, offside rear door looks good and the offside rear quarter looks good. Moving around the front of the car now, so we're going to check out uh, the front bumper itself and all lights and grills. Offside lights and grills look in good condition, but we do actually have some superficial scuffing just down the bottom of this bumper corner. So along with this mark here actually, we'll be professionally refinished at one of our body shops prior to sale. Moving around the front, centre grills in good condition. Looks like a, there's a bit of polish just in the, that gap there from Valet. And we've got again some light superficial markings just on the bottom here so to be fair we'll have the entire front and rear bumper refinished prior to sale final panel to look over is the bonnet as you can see the paint works in good condition there's no major dents or scratches or anything like that if anything as you'd expect with the age and mileage of the car we've got one or two touch-ups to be done along the front these will be done with a genuine audi touch-up paint prior to sale before we make our way through the interior we'll check out the front screen as you can see, there's no major chips or cracks in the screen. A couple of light surface markings sort of in the centre, but other than that, looks in nice condition. Now we're going to make our way through the interior of the car, starting in the boot. This car's got a power tailgate on it, which is a nice feature. Nice sizeable boot on these A4s, as you can see the parcel shelf in nice condition, including the sale of the car. No uh, damage or major damage to any of the plastics or carpets or anything like that. All looks in nice condition. These mats, if they're for this car and fit as a bonus, as we don't supply floor mats with any of our cars, and the plastics underneath the boot lining are in good condition as well. So we'll pop that back down and we'll run through the interior. Rear door cards are in good condition. We've got the rear S line kick plates, and we've got the factory half leather, half cloth combo with three factory uh, seat belts, three factory headrests, and ice fix fittings to both outer seats. Charcoal headline is in good condition. Backs of both front seats look good and the rear carpets are in good condition as well. Moving to the front now. Front door cards are in nice condition. Again, S-line kick plates, front carpets look good. And the front S-line half and half seats in good condition. Bolster still firm, holding their shape. 
no excessive wear, no rips, no tears, no cigarette burns, no trace of any odours or anything like that. And jumping in, passenger seats in same condition, if not nicer. No excessive wear, no signs of any dash repairs or plastic repairs at all. All looks uh, tidy on the interior. We'll start the car up and we'll run you through some of the specs. So we've got full electronic windows, electronic adjustable and heated side mirrors, central locking controls just in front of the driver's door handle. Got the upgraded Bang & Olufsen speaker system, automatic lights and wipers. Moving across, we've got cruise control on the start just underneath the indicators. Moving up the centre console, we've got a fully adjustable armrest, only a tiny little bit of wear on the armrest there. Two usable cup holders, all the MMI controls in the centre that we'll run through in a moment. Electronic parking brake, automatic transmission, dual climate control and air conditioning, traction control, full parking sensors with optical display and stop start. Now we're at the screen, as you can see, we've got digital radio and a few other options on there. Bluetooth, audio, streaming, and quite a few other options, including your Audi jukebox, an SD card player, full telephone prep, and satellite navigation as well. And we're finished off with this flat bottom leather bound S-Line multifunction steering wheel with flappy paddles. And this car is on 77,348 miles. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you've got any questions regarding this car or any of our stock, please give us a call on 01724 876 555. Thank you again.